HMS Hood was the last battlecruiser built for the Royal Navy, commissioned in 1920 and served with distinction until her destruction in 1941 whilst engaging the Bismarck. Join me in this video as I build and review the works 1 to 2000 scale plastic model kit of this historic vessel. Hello and welcome to Model Minutes. This video features a build and review of the HMS Hood in 1 to 2000 scale. For those of you who may not know, the Works is a discount books and arts and crafts shop here in the UK, which is well known for its low cost books, stationery, art supplies and pocket money toys. I have known them to retail the odd Airfix or Ravel kit in the past and was surprised when I found a new selection of scale model ship kits in their pocket money toys section. It would appear from the packaging that this is a product that is being retailed under their own brand. I would imagine however that this is a model kit that has been sold in different countries or under different brands as there is a manufacturer's mark on the base of the model which I don't recognise and a copyright date of 2003 which implies that these models may have been available elsewhere for quite some time. Currently the range consists of four kits which are advertised on the packaging. These consist of the Tirpitz, the New Jersey and the Missouri. I'll add the link to the website under the video so you can take a look at them for yourselves. On the rear of the box are the assembly instructions. These are very vague, only consisting of three images which are very difficult to understand. Glue is required but it is not indicated the nature of this glue. I have heard of people using super glue to build these kits, but being a plastic modeler, I instead will opt for poly cement. Let's take a look at the contents of the kit. In a small plastic bag you get three small sprues. Two are moulded in dark grey plastic and one in red. There was a reasonable amount of small detail on these parts, which I was surprised to see. And also not much flash which helped with construction as I didn't have to take time to clean up these small parts. The plastic was much harder than the kits that I normally build, probably because it's a cheap kit and also so that the small parts don't break when removed from the sprues. Before I start building, as always, remember that adult supervision may be required due to the use of sharp tools and toxic paints and chemicals. The Works recommends this kit for those aged 8 years old and over. The first step is to remove the hull of the ship from the sprue using a sharp knife and clean up any rough areas with a file. I struggled to understand the pictures as to how these parts were assembled but with some trial and error I was eventually successful. These parts have to be held together until the cement dries as they were warped and would spring apart if let go. The deck of the ship is then glued to the top of the hull, which aligned quite well, but once again had to be held in place. Next, all the big guns of the ship were added to the deck using a small blob of cement. Some of these parts are really tiny, so tweezers were used at times to hold them. The assembly of the model follows the pictures on the rear of the packaging as best as I could understand them, but at times I found that I put things in the wrong places and had to relocate them. Whilst you watch me finish up the construction of this model, I'll tell you a little more about the actual HMS Hood. HMS Hood was an Admiral class battlecruiser and its main armament consisted of eight 42 caliber BL 15 inch Mark I guns in hydraulically powered twin gun turrets. She had an array of secondary weapons including a dozen 50 caliber BL 5.5 inch Mark I guns six torpedo tubes, various heavy anti-aircraft cannons and a number of machine gun positions. The size, armour and armament of this vessel gained it the nickname the Mighty Hood. It was a severe blow to British morale when the Hood was sunk in 1941 when it engaged the Bismarck and Prinz Eugen in an attempt to prevent them from entering the Atlantic. An enemy shell managed to ignite a magazine store on the Hood which exploded and she sank within three minutes. Nearly one and a half thousand men were lost, with only three of the crew surviving. It's a shame that this model kit comes with no information about the actual HMS Hood, 
as I feel that if this was included, it would be a fitting tribute to all those who ultimately gave their lives while serving on her. It's at this stage now that I've completed the assembly. The instructions give no painting information at all, and as a result, I've not gone any further. So here's the finished model. It's not a bad kit, if you've got some experience already under your belt, but because it has poor instructions, I feel that it might not be suitable for a beginner. That being said, the lack of painting would help give you more experience of construction. The kits retail for £3 each, and I think that's a reasonable price, bearing in mind that it's aimed at the pocket money toy section of the shop. I'm glad that other retailers are getting involved in the plastic model kit scene, but feel that brand new people to the hobby might be put off by this kind of kit, due to the reasons I previously stated. Improvements I'd consider making would be to research the correct paint scheme and apply that as appropriate. And as it's a small kit, I imagine it could make quite a good diorama with the other ships in the range. So ultimately, I've had fun building this, and I think it looks okay, but it's not one of the best kits out there. That being said, I don't think it would put me off buying the other kits, and at the moment, they are not currently available on the works website, but they may still be available in shops. I'll have to keep an eye out for them. As always, let me know what you think of my build, techniques and finished model in the comments below. I'm also keen to hear your suggestions as to other kits that you'd like to see me build on my channel, so feel free to post that too. All that's left to say is thanks for watching this video and don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe in order to see more content and help support the channel. And feel free to share this video with your family and friends and connect with me on social media. I'm on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. See you all again next time.